Okay, thank you very much for your time today. That's a great occasion. And uh, uh, good morning to everyone. Uh, my name is Kazuhiro Tobisawa. I'm an honorary research fellow of the Uni University of Buckingham uh, in the United Kingdom. One of my main research fields is nuclear disarmament and diplomacy. I have researched and interviewed with a number of worldwide anti-nuclear weapon private organization and the governmental sections. And today, this conference is focusing on religion. It is not my main expertise, uh, but I introduce a good case of anti-nuclear weapon activities by an influential religious organization in Japan uh, named Soka Gakkai. It is a Buddhist ray association founded in 1930 and has about 10 million members in 192 countries and areas today. Their activities are based on the teachings of uh, Nichiren. Uh, as uh, well known as the Nichiren Buddhism, Nichiren was a Buddhist monk in the 30th century Japan. Over half century, Soga Akai has been modernizing Buddhism as a religion relevant for contemporary human society through a worldwide action promoting peace, culture, and education. So I'd like to offer a tentative answer to the question today. Can religion actually mobilize for nuclear disarmament? And how does religious activities influence nuclear weapon issues. In political realism, nuclear weapon policies are national government's solo or exclusive prerogatives. In this scene, non-state actor, including religious organization, do not have any power and decision-making authority. However, bilateral or multilateral political negotiations on nuclear weapon issues between governments have been deadlocked for a long time in history. As an actual example of a non-state actor playing a relevant role, in this presentation, uh, I'd like to introduce a private diplomacy record of uh, Daisaku Ikeda. He's the honorary president of Sokagakkai and his private diplomacy with the United States, the Soviet Union, China, and Japan during the Cold War. So today I speak about four categories, uh, fundamental causes of nuclear weapon issues, Nichiren teachings in the 13th century, and Daisaku Ikeda's peace philosophy, Ikeda's private diplomacy during the Cold War, and the Japanese Sokagakai's actions against nuclear weapons. Uh, fundamental cause of nuclear weapon, what are them? In the view of international relations, nuclear weapon issues are exclusive political matters between nation states and their governments. So it appears that non-state actors 
do not have any right to make decision or our authorities on such as high political matters. However, many of diplomatic and political negotiations I mentioned before on nuclear weapon issues, such as the six party talks with the North Korea in early 2000s have been detracted. Not only there are no positive progress, but they have also been getting worse year on the year. In fact, the number, number of nuclear weapon states have been increasing. It looks like another nuclear arms race today. Also, uh, as, as you know, as you may know well, but uh, the nuclear weapon states and uh, the states protected by their nuclear umbrella have been depending on the strong policy nuclear deterrence. Professor Thomas Schering, uh, American Authority of Economics, Game Theory, and the strong supporter of nuclear deterrence expressed strong doubt about as whether a new a, a world without a nuclear weapon was truly desirable. His theory is premised on the argument that the abolition of a nuclear weapon would not eliminate nuclear threats and would only result in creating further tension in the world. He underlined that countries with a past history and know-how in producing nuclear weapons would resume weapons production, which would lead to a world where full readiness for the deployment of these weapons could be planned and executed in any time. That means human beings have never, will never abandon such as a technology of the world, world's strongest weapons. Such as, such as a stream, more countries rearming, including nuclear development, will be encouraged more with the lesson of Ukraine today, unfortunately. The role of governments is very important. That, that is undoubtedly, undoubt. But only their political and diplomatic efforts cannot be resolute such as serious issues. The, the Thomas Schering logic indicates that the simple eradication, uh, eradication of nuclear weapons uh, will not result in putting an end of political tension or conflict among countries and international society. So, actually, what are the nuclear weapon issues? Uh, it is, it is, uh, they are kind of often defined as issues of political, diplomatic, security, or human rights. All of, all of them are, uh, correct, I think, in each point of view at the surface. What is the fundamental cause of nuclear weapons? That fundamental one is it is because of confrontation between states, no doubt. Why do they confront each other? Why do states intend to possess nuclear weapon finally? Underlining the development of nuclear issues exist fundamental problems such as religious or ideological confrontation, territorial disputes, or, or resource acquisition where negotiation and compromise among countries are difficult. Such as political tension and the conflict trick uh, nuclear issues. Therefore, the weapon issues, of course, including the nuclear issues, will always be secondary issue and a secondary <laughs> factor. So there are many direct causes, but uh, what? But the, that is the escalation. That is a fundamental thing. That is the escalation of fears among the leaders and the people's minds as a fundamental point of view. States tend to develop nuclear arms in, in when the state is under tremendous high, high felt be, being isolated, 
when states put themselves extremely disadvantageous situation. So that is um, that is a very similar situation uh, to the and the common situation in the Second World War and the Cold War. Those occasion accelerate nuclear arms race actually. So um, my research finding and suggestion uh, is uh, uh, there are limitation of government efforts and the need for collaboration between governments and the civil society organization, uh, which is low politics and for prevent diplomacy. <clears throat> So now uh, I'd like to um, go to the uh, main one, things, uh, the religious organization and its roots, uh, Nietzschean teachings to the so-called archives activities. That is from 30th century to that present day. So because of, first of all, I'd like to mention about Nietzschean. A Buddhism monk, because of his main concept was individual happiness based on Mahayana Buddhism, Nichiren was a very, very rare figure, focused on the world itself, not nations, despite almost all people in Japan only focused and aware uh, on the Jap Japanese country and Japanese land. No other countries and no citizens. Of course, that is a 30th century. But uh, he often mentioned about Sanskrit word, Jambo uh, Dabupa. That means entire world many times in his teachings and writings. He underlined that uh, global peace for individual happiness. He said, uh, that is, he said in 1260, if you care anything about your personal security, you should first of all pray for the order and uh, tranquility throughout the four quarters of the land, shouldn't you? The four, four quarters of the land, it means entire, entire world as well. He also regarded the people uh, as the main player of that uh, country, not political leaders. He said the king sees his people as his parents. That is a very rare. Uh, in Japan, because uh, it is it was a feudal society and a feudal government. In his action, Nichiren tried to make dialogue with uh, Japanese feudal military governments several times, because uh, there were many natural disasters, big earthquakes, and uh, uh, many disasters and uh, of course, you know, the feudal government, you know, did not treat the people fairly and safety. So that is why he tried to make the government to handle the affairs of the state based on human-centered thought. That is no doubt in the present day, but uh, uh, about uh, 800 years ago, it was rare. So that is, that was, but his suggestions were, of course, rejected and ignored uh, by the government. Uh, that is the root of Sokaga Kai. So, so now, present day, what is uh, uh, Sokaga Kai's uh, actions and the philosophy? Of course, that is the root of Nichiren, but uh, that is, uh, I'd like to mention about uh, uh, Daisaku Ikeda's philosophy. Uh, he's a leader of Sokarakai about nuclear weapons. Use of, he said, use of nuclear weapons itself is a serious uh, challenge to the dignity of life and the right of humanity for its surviving, survivor. And the mutual distrust creates a political tension uh, that would, would develop nuclear weapons. He said mutual distrust is a core uh, problem of the nuclear issues. 
then he introduced the Mahayana Buddhist uh, Mahayana Buddhism conceptual framework, depend, mm -hmm. dependent origination. Uh, Japanese, you know, the uh, character said to Engi, all things mutually supportive and related. The form are living and modern philosophy might term and semantic form. It is, uh, he said at uh, Harvard University, his lecture. So that is a fundamental uh, problem and uh, is core issue of the uh, nuclear weapon uh, that he mentioned. So he actually, uh, actually example, he assumed, he gave uh, assumption uh, relations between the politics, economics, and the cultural and the educational exchanges. Uh, because uh, mutual distrust is a core problem, and the political and the economic interest is a kind of uh, very small and surface problem. So, so in order to resolve you know, the uh, difficulties of mutual distrust, you know, that uh, uh, cultural, educational, and peaceful exchange is important, he believes. So he said, that assuming that the SIP represented the political and the economy, then the sea on the which the SIP sails its uh, ties between people, at times the SIP may be wrecked, but as long as there is a uh, see and go going will continue. Cultural, educational, and peaceful exchange were therefore very. What I can see, sorry. Coming, I mean, uh, uh, therefore, the rights that uh, will build eternal friendship. So he assumes the politics and the economics uh, is a ship uh, and uh, culture and the educational and the peace, peaceful exchange and see. So uh, SIP, if you know SIP sees, you know, the uh, in in the occasion of difficulty, if there is a sea, SIP can swim very smoothly. So that is why, that, that is a kind of his, you know, the actions concept. So in his action uh, during the Cold War, uh, with his conviction, Ikeda conduct, conducted his private diplomacy, which that is law politics centered on cultural and educational exchanges. He pried the rule of messenger to the four countries, United States, Soviet Union, China, and Japan, which broke up their diplomatic relations and the communication channels at that time. Uh, the outcome of his private diplomacy, it was normalizing diplomatic relations between J Japan and China, and also that the mitigating tension uh, between the USSR, the Soviet Union, and China. Uh, the, for example, in the meeting with the Soviet uh, Union, uh, Prime Minister Kosygin, uh, President uh, Ikeda asked, you know, that uh, 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 pre uh, the, the President Kosygin, uh, uh, Prime Minister Kosygin, accepted Ikeda to pass the message to the China. Uh, the Soviet Union was not going to attack new. Uh, attack by nuclear weapons. So that uh, then uh, Ikeda visited uh, China to uh, pass the message and then the, uh, mitigated the tension, something like that. So during, at the time, he visited the United States and uh, uh, met uh, with uh, American leaders as well and uh, share the situation and the experience, and what the uh, Chinese and Soviet Union leaders said uh, to then the, that was one of the trigger 
uh, for American government, uh, Pro Professor Kissinger, to uh, approach the Chinese government uh, later on. So, okay, that is the outcome. So now that we, I move to the uh, current Japanese Sokagakai's action against nuclear weapons. That's a, a lesson of nuclear weapon issues will not be resolved in the, uh, in the terms of just a single generation. Continuous actions over the generations are required in order to address such as the worldwide and the big issue. The atomic bombing in Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945 is, is the common origin and main motivation of all the Japanese society organization, civil society organization against nuclear weapons, including Sokagakai. Sokagakai, the Japanese Sokagakai is the first organization in Japan calling for abolishing nuclear weapons in Japan 1957. <laughs> delivered by the second president, Jose Toda, who was Ikeda's mentor. For example, the Japanese Soga Archive has officially been recording, publishing and exhibiting and uh, experience of atomic bomb survivors, name is Shibakusha, over half century. It was uh, very tough for the survivor to talk about the experience even conf confessing that uh, they are survivors in the Japanese society at that time. In fact, they were discriminated people and their, they and their family had a serious disadvantage in getting jobs and even getting married. For example, there was a rumor the survivors will have malformed children with radiation of contamination from their parents. So many of them have not been talking about details of their experience. So Ganaka in Japan regarded it is one of the most important anti-nuclear weapon activities to pass the first-hand experience with the survivors, real voice down to the generations. It is not only for restoring the survivors' human rights in the society, but it is also significant to the future future of Japan and the world. In 2005, for example, Sokagakai Women's Peace Committee made a movie based on the experience of 180 women survivors. In fact, today, many anti-nuclear weapon civil society organization in Japan seriously suffer stagnation in their activities, mainly due to aging of survivors and the fading memories of nuclear bombing, as well as shortage of successors willing to take on the mission. However, excuse me, excuse me. May, may I be? I'm extremely sorry, but could I ask you to move to your conclusion? Mm, you sorry, could, could you? Would you be kind enough to move to your conclusion, if I may? Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's it. We're, okay. we're running out of Conclusion. time. Sorry, sorry, that's it. Okay, so um, Japanese, yes. Okay, I mentioned about the Japanese, you know, the activities. And so the conclusion is Sogaka is an organization of the pioneer against nuclear weapons. The actions have been de based on Daisaku Ikeda's philosophy and private diplomacy as law politics centered on cultural and educational exchanges. He prayed as Ray Lord to mitigate tension and encourage mutual, dis mutual understanding, especially in the religious region of Northeast Asia during the Cold War. In some aspect, it can be said that Ikeda and Sokagakai have revived the Nichiren Buddhism to the present day as a activities against nuclear weapon. There are my research findings relating to religion. Thank you very much. Sorry for overtiming. Thank you for this brilliant presentation. I will straight away ask um, the room if there are any questions. Yes. There is a mic or some other one. Uh, yes. 
There is a... It's coming, the microphone is coming. Yes, yes. Hello, that's uh, Massimo Introvigne. Nice to see you, Dr. Tobizawa. And the question is, uh, with uh, all the talk about uh, atomic bombs uh, around the war in Ukraine, uh, do you see the, the work of religious organization against nuclear weapons as becoming more difficult or, on the contrary, as attracting uh, more interest uh, from the public opinion? Uh, so Sorry, could, could you could you be more specific, specific please? That, uh, uh, the question is whether with the war in Ukraine and uh, the public talk about the possible use of uh, nuclear weapons, mm -hmm. do you see the fight of uh, Sokagakai about nuclear weapons as becoming more difficult uh, or on the contrary more easy? Uh, and about uh, yeah, about Ukraine uh, problem is it is a kind of actually war. So and uh, so that is why it is quite difficult to address uh, the possibility of the use of nuclear weapons uh, to Ukraine. So for uh, any organization, private organization, including Sokagakai, I think. But I think I underlined, you know, that uh, even though and uh, that is the same situation, uh, maintaining, you know, the private channel with the people in Russia and the Ukraine uh, from other countries, that is the uh, same situation to the, the Cold War. So that is why that is a kind of general approach and approachable way. So I think, you know, the situation is very difficult, but you know, the, the way we should take is not changed, I think. Am I kind of answer to the question? Yes, thank, thank you. you. No other question? Okay, well, thank you very much for being with us uh, this morning. And we'll move on thank to you. our next speaker then.